In this video, we'll take a look at approving and publishing web pages using the built-in approval workflow. This video assumes you are already familiar with editing the content areas of a publishing page or have watched the video titled Working with Publishing Pages. The approval workflow is available in publishing sites created from the template Publishing Site with Workflow. When content is added or changed on a page, the modified page needs to be submitted for approval before it can be published and made available to the site visitors. Once a page is submitted for approval, a task is assigned to the designated approver to review and approve the page for publishing. The task assignment is sent to the approver in an email message. Before using the approval workflow, a site owner or administrator will need to identify who the page editors and approvers are in site permissions. Let's take a look at those groups and the users I will use to demonstrate the different roles. So I'll do that by going to Site Actions and then Site Permissions. Users in the Viascope Visitor group have read-only rights and only see approved and published versions of pages. In this video, I'll be logging in as Andy Bernard as the visitor with read-only rights. Users in the Viascope member group have contributor rights and can modify page content. For this role, I'll be logging in as Aaron Hannon. Users in the Approvers group approve and publish pages. For this role, I'll be logging in as Michael Scott. So I'll return to the home page here. First, I'll make some changes to the page. So I will sign in as Aaron Hannon to edit the page. You can see I am now logged in as Aaron Hannon. And to make changes to the page, I'll choose Site Actions, Edit Page. Notice the status bar indicating the page is checked out. As long as the page is checked out to me, another user cannot make changes to this page until I check it back in. I'm going to make two changes to the page for now. I'll add an image to the left and some welcome text under the title. So I'll add the image by clicking on the link here. Then I'll select Browse. I'm selecting the image from this Images folder. And here's the image I want to use. And then I'll choose OK. And then I'll add the welcome text under the title here. So as Erin, I have finished editing the page and now it needs to be submitted for approval and publishing. So to do that, I'll click on the check in button. I can add comments if I like about the changes I've made. And then I'll select continue. And this saves the changes and checks the page back in so it can be reviewed. Notice the status has changed to checked in and viewable by authorized users. Then after checking the page in, I go to the Publish tab and click the Submit button. Clicking the Submit button will kick off the approval workflow and displays the approval form to select details for the approver. In the Request field, you can provide information about the page being submitted for approval. If the page already has content and you are submitting the page for changes that might not be obvious, it would be helpful to the approver to point out what has changed here. So I'll just add a brief description of what I've changed on the page. This message will appear in the task assignment that the approver receives. In the next field, I can identify a due date for the task to be completed or for the page to be approved or in the duration per task field, I can enter a number indicating the amount of time for the approval to be completed as number of days, weeks, or months. So I'm going to allow three days to approve the page. The duration units does default to days, but when I click the drop down, you can see you can also select weeks or months. In the CC field, you can enter another user's name to let them know the page has been submitted for approval, such as a manager. When finished filling out the form, click the Start button, and the approval workflow begins. With the workflow in progress, a task will be created for the approver, Michael Scott. He will receive a task notification email requesting him to approve the page, and in the email is a link to the page to be approved. 
Notice the status at the top of the page is now waiting for approval. Before approving the page, I will log in as the user with read-only rights, Andy Bernard. So now you can see up here I'm logged in as Andy Bernard, and I do not see the changes that were made to the page yet because they have not been approved and published. Next I will log in as the approver, Michael Scott. Logged in as Michael, he can see the changes made to the page because he is an approver. Notice the status is still waiting for approval. To approve the page, I'll click on the Publish tab, then I'll click on the Approve button, then I'll click Continue, and the Approval task displays. At the top, it tells me what this workflow task applies to and the name of the page that I'm approving. I can click on this link to review the page again if I want. It shows this task was requested by Erin Hannon because she is the one who updated the page. In the comments section, again, shows that this task was started by Erin, and here is the comment I had added, that I added an image and the welcome message. Shows me the due date for the approval, and the comments box is where I can enter a comment as the approver about the document. And then I'll click the Approve button. I'm returned to the page, and notice the yellow status bar is gone now that this page has been approved and published. So the last thing I'll do is log in as the visitor with read-only rights again, Andy Bernard. Now that the modified page has been approved and published, all the changes are visible to the visitor with read-only permissions. For information on changing workflow settings, monitoring the progress and status of a workflow, and workflow reports, please see the video titled Managing Workflows.